apparel industry is kind of the entry point for the low-income countries to penetrate in the export market. Developing country supplier have become absolutely central to the global apparel market. The apparel market was worth approximately 412 billion in 2011. If you take the top 10 developing country suppliers, they accounted for 58% of that market. The global apparel sector employs about 60 million people worldwide. But typically, it's the first stage manufacturing employment. The first formal employment for many workers are going to women and you can see important employment effects, you can see important economic activity effects for the women that are employed, but also for the society as a whole. WTO and the OECD conducted a survey. We had 107 firms and associations from 47 countries respond. Issues that they identified as being important for access to value chains included such things as trade finance, access to business finance more generally, the operation of border and custom services, transport and infrastructure, energy infrastructure. Um, some of the, these were some of the constraints that came out very clearly. An additional one is labour skills, not something that we necessarily associate with this sector, but are extremely important if you're looking to move up the value chain and get into particularly service functions. The suppliers in developing countries can work not only for the assembly, assembling process, but also designing or sometimes marketing as well. This income opportunity may break the linkages across the generations. So in the sense, it's quite important.